Hello and welcome to Cracksoid. As some of you may know that now routing method is completely changed. After Magisk version 22, the routing procedure is totally different. So today in this video, I will show you three methods to root Android phone using latest Magisk 22.1. I will also show how to root without installing any custom recovery. So without further ado, let's start. This is the first method and easiest method. For this your phone's bootloader needs to be unlocked and any custom recovery should be installed on your phone. If you don't know how to install custom recovery and how to unlock the bootloader then check video in the description where I have provided the link of those videos. This is Redmi Note 5 Pro based on MIUI 12. First, I will show you that this phone is not rooted. I will use root checker application to check root status and as you can see this phone is not rooted. Now to root this phone we have to go to any browser and search Magisk. Then go to the website. Scroll down and click on download button. Then after some moment it will start its downloading process. Now as you can see it's downloaded. Install that downloaded application and open it. The name of this app is changed from Magisk Manager to Magisk. So don't get confused by the name of this app. Open this app. Allow some permissions and on the app section a new update is available which is Magisk 22.1. Then install that update. So click on update and install the latest update of Magisk. So now latest Magisk is installed on my phone as there is no any update option available now now go back and as you can see this phone is not rooted now we have to go to file manager app and on download folder you can see there are two apps one is magisk 22 which we just downloaded a moment ago and another is magisk 22.1 that we updated from magisk app now we have to rename and change the extension of Magisk app. As you know I have now Magisk 22.1 installed on my phone so I will select that Magisk 22.1 app. Select the Magisk app of same version that is installed on your phone and click on rename. Remove that APK written and replace it with zip and then click OK. Then again click on OK to confirm it. Now that Magisk APK file is converted into a zip file. Now we have to reboot our phone to recovery mode. Every phone have different method to reboot into recovery section. In Xiaomi phones we can also reboot to recovery by long pressing power and volume buttons together too. As I have already told you, you must install custom recovery to root your phone from this method. And I have already installed Orange Fox Custom on my phone. It may ask you to draw the pattern to decrypt data partition, so at that time you have to draw the pattern of your lock screen. Now we are in Orange Fox Custom Recovery section. Now go to Inside Download Folder and select that zip file that we created and swipe right to confirm it. Now installation process has started, this will take some time and then your phone will reboot to the system. So I will first fast forward this process. Now phone is rebooted into system. Unlock the pattern and let's open Magisk app. And you can see all the rooted functions are now available. Now I'll confirm it from root checker application and as you can see this phone is now rooted. So in this way you can root your phone using this first method. Now let's go to our second method. 
This is Redmi Note 8 based on MIUI 12 and this phone is also not rooted. In this method also you have to install that Magisk app like we did on first method. As in first method, this method also requires unlocked bootloader and custom recovery installed. Now open that Magisk app. Here on Magisk section, RAM disk no is written. If it's no, then we have to root using recovery image file. And if there's RAM disk yes written, then you have to root your phone using boot image file. And I tried using recovery image file, but that does not work for me. Even it bricked my phone by trying with recovery image file. So I'll not suggest to try to root using recovery image. So you have to try to root by using boot image file. You may be wondering from where you can get boot image file. You have to download the ROM file that is installed on your phone right now. And remember you have to download exact same version of ROM that is currently running on your device. You can download any ROM, recovery ROM or fast boot ROM. I have tried routing using from both ROMs and both works fine. And my Redmi Note 8 is currently running on MIUI 12.0.4. So I have to download same exact ROM based on MIUI 12.0.4. And if you don't know from where you can download ROM file for your phone, then I have made a separate video on it too. I will provide the link in the description section. As I have already downloaded recovery ROM file for my phone, which is in zip format. So first of all, unzip it by extracting. Then open the extracted folder. There you will find a boot.ing file. So this is boot ing file and using this we are going to root our phone now we have to patch this boot img for this open magisk app again click on that install button on magisk section make sure recovery mode is checked and click on next click on select and patch a file now we have to select the boot img file that we have extracted from rom file. Go to the folder and select that boot img file. And now click on let's go. Then it will start its process. Now it's done. As you can see a patched file is created inside my download folder. Basically, it creates a past email file of that boot img. So now I will go to my download folder and you can see there's magisk past image file. Now simply reboot your phone to custom recovery mode. I have installed Orange Fox custom recovery but you can use any other custom recoveries like TWRP, Pitch Black, etc. Then draw the lock screen pattern to decrypt data partition. This will take some time to decrypt and now it's done. And this is Orange Fox custom recovery. Now simply go to the download folder and select that Magisk past image file. And then select boot. Cause it's boot image file. Then swipe right to install it. And when it's done, click on reboot system. This booting process will take some time, so I will fast forward this also. Now it's rebooted to system. Unlock the pattern. I will directly open Magisk app and you can see rooted functions are available, which means phone is now rooted. Also, I will show it from root checker application and you can clearly see that this phone is now rooted so in this way you can root your phone using boot ing file and custom recovery now let's jump to our third method to root phone without custom recovery installed and this is again redmi noted which is based on miui 12 this phone is not rooted and now no any custom recovery is installed on it but for this method, bootloader needs to be unlocked and install that latest Magisk app as we did on previous method. 
also i will show that this phone is not rooted from root checker app and you can see this phone is not rooted so now we have to download recovery or fast boot room of your device as we did on second method on second method i have used recovery room so in this method i will show using fast boot room and make sure you need to download exact same rom with same version that your phone is running on i have explained about this on second method as well i have downloaded fast boot rom on my pc so i will connect my device to pc and let's go to pc so this is fast boot rom of my phone and i have already extracted it now open extracted folder and open this folder too here go to image folder and inside images folder you will find boot img file simply copy it and paste on your internal storage i have copied it on movies folder now go back to mobile phone and i will show boot image file inside my movies folder now we have to patch this boot image file as we did on second method go to magisk app click on install button on magisk section make sure recovery mode is checked and tap on next button then tap on select and patch a file now search that boot img which is in my movies folder and click on it after selecting it now tap on let's go button then installation process will start and it will patch that boot image and that patched boot image will be created inside our download folder so now go back and check inside download folder and there is magisk patched boot image created now we have to copy that past boot image into our pc my phone is already connected to pc so let's go to computer here directly go to my device section and go to internal storage and on download folder copy that magisk past image file and paste on desktop Now we have to install ADB driver on our computer. This is ADB setup. I will provide its download link in description section. Run it as administrator. Press Y button on every command and hit enter button. Then click on next and click on finish. Now ADB drivers are installed on your computer. Now copy that magisk patched file and go to C drive. There you will find adb folder. Simply paste that file there. Now on the address bar type cmd and hit enter. Then command promote will appear. Now we have to boot our phone to fast boot mode otherwise this will not work. To boot to fast boot mode, simply long press power and volume down button together. So now it's rebooted into fast boot mode. Hold your phone there and go to PC again. We have command promote opened where we have to type commands. And our first command is fast boot space devices and then hit the enter button then some numbers will be shown which will indicate our phone is connected to computer in fast boot mode then type another command which is fast boot space flash space boot space then drag that magisk past image file from adb folder to cmd and hit enter button now the flashing process is completed reboot it to system we can reboot to system using command which is fastboot space reboot then phone will start rebooting to system 
now our work in computer is finished and we can remove that data cable from your phone too so now our phone is rebooted to system now i directly will open magisk app and you can see we have rooted features available on magisk app which means our phone is rooted I will also show from root checker app and you can see root access is properly installed on this device. So in this way you can root your phone without installing any custom recovery and I'll show the recovery section. I will reboot my phone to recovery mode. I haven't installed any custom recovery on this device and you can see this is stock recovery of this phone. No any custom recovery is installed in this device. So in this way you can root your phone without installing custom recovery. So these are the three methods to root using new latest Magisk. I hope you find this video useful and if you like this video then hit that like button, comment down, share this video and support us by subscribing to our Cracksway YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video. See you in my next video. Until then, goodbye, take care.